Ulysses S. Grant speaks in short declarative sentences that identify what the problems are in America and urges people to come together to solve them. My name is Heather Cox Richardson and I'm an American historian. I'm interested primarily in politics and in ideas and how often what people think is happening in politics is not really what's happening. One of the things we think of when we think of memorable inaugurations is we think of the big flowery speeches and the times when people seem to be calling Americans together to unify again the way Jefferson did, for example, in his inauguration after a very bitter divide in the 1800 election. Or we think of John F. Kennedy, for example. But that's not the only way to call for a country together. And one of the inaugurations that I have really always loved is that of Ulysses S. Grant, which is one that doesn't make any textbooks, but that is one in which a president tried a new way to unify the country. The inauguration of Ulysses S. Grant in 1869 is a wonderful moment in American history. It was just at the moment when Americans thought within their reach was the ability to make American democracy come alive, to go ahead and make sure that all Americans were equal before the law for really the first time in American history. During the Johnson administration, we get our first impeachment, we get a deeply torn country, we get race riots, we get a country that is so deeply divided, people think there's going to be another civil war. War. They really think there's going to be another civil war. So they're holding their breaths in 1868 when the new election comes up about what's going to happen, what direction is the country going to take. And when Ulysses S. Grant is elected, thanks in part to the votes of newly enfranchised African Americans in the South, his inauguration is really Americans' party for having survived the civil war. Grant is not known as a speaker. He doesn't like to speak very much. And what he does is something really new. Rather than talking in flowery terms or making grand allusions to things, he simply speaks in short declarative sentences that identify what the problems are in America and urges people to come together to solve them. He actually says, listen, I don't know how we're going to solve this problem, but how we solve it is a lot less important than the fact that we can agree together that we need to solve it. By setting out those declarative sentences, he manages to walk beyond all of the spin of the past three years and all of the propaganda and says, I'm not going to do that. I am going to be the president for everybody. I will not exclude certain people. I will enforce the laws, even if I don't agree with them. What he managed to do was to bring Americans back together around a bedrock idea of functioning together within a space governed by reality, no longer by the ideology of one side or the ideology of the other, but rather a very simple belief that so long as we dealt honestly with our problems, we could work on them together. And the solutions that Americans came up with together, he as president would enforce those solutions without fear or favor on all Americans equally. And that's a really important marker to put down in 1869. And it's a marker that he's going to carry forward in 1870 when he signed the bill into law that created our Department of Justice. One of the important things about the spectacle of Grant's inauguration in 69 was that after he gave his short speech, he got into a carriage along with a lot of the other officials from the government, and the carriage made a procession. And with that procession marching behind it were more than a mile of people who had fought with Grant in the American Civil War. And it was a biracial coalition. It was the black soldiers as well as the white soldiers who had fought behind him. And after the previous three years of racial strife in the country, to have the president with a biracial coalition behind him in 1869 was an enormously important moment that nobody missed. I'm Heather Cox Richardson. I'm an American historian and we just learned about Ulysses S. Grant's inauguration.